stop it. We're going to turn this off. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about something that's relatively new on the market. Today we're talking about the fuel keg from Mr. Heater. It's a one pound refillable propane tank, and you'll also need the propane cylinder refill kit, which is sold separately. We're going to show you how to safely refill this propane tank. We're going to talk about some of the pros and the cons. We're going to talk about the cost. And in the end, I'm going to tell you whether or not I would recommend the fuel keg propane cylinder refill kit to you and your family. All right, so what is the fuel keg? Well, basically, guys, it's a one pound refillable propane tank that you can safely and legally fill up. So this is the typical one pound propane tank that most of you guys are familiar with, okay? The Coleman one pound propane tank, you can find these things pretty much anywhere. You can find them in your grocery store, sporting goods store, wherever. Now, can you safely refill these? Absolutely you can. Some people will say you can't. You can definitely refill these. There is a safe way to do it, and I'll show you in another video pretty soon. Now, can you legally refill these? Well, that depends. Technically, to transport these things, you cannot transport them once you've refilled them. But then again, how is anyone gonna know that you refilled them? The short answer is, they're not. Now, I'm not gonna recommend on this video that you go ahead and break any laws. I will, however, say that I have refilled these plenty of times. I've never had them leak, and I've never had an issue with them. Now I will say that refilling these Coleman propane tanks, it's a little tedious. You gotta put it onto the 20 pound cylinder, take it off, bleed some of the air out of it, check the weight constantly to make sure you're not overfilling this, make sure that this isn't gonna swell. Like I said, it's a little tedious. So this is why I really like this fuel keg from Mr. Heater. Now that's what makes the fuel keg so nice. There's absolutely no way you can overfill this thing and you can fill it pretty easily, pretty quickly, usually under two minutes. Now, while you're filling this with your 20 pound tank, it's got this little valve here. And what you do is, as you're filling it, you turn this valve counterclockwise, and the entire time you're filling this keg, air is gonna be coming out of this little valve, shooting out of this valve. And what you do is, you continue to fill this fuel keg until you see a steady stream of propane liquid coming out from this little valve and that's when you turn it off and you know you're done and you are completely full one pound of propane now if you're going to want to use the fuel keg propane tank you're going to have to go out and purchase the propane cylinder refill kit that goes with it there's no two ways about it you need this to fill that now at the time of filling the refill kit costs $29.99 at Menards and the empty keg costs $17.99 so we're talking about $50 after tax just to get started on this system so it is a little bit pricey so that is something you're going to need to think about before you purchase this system now included with the refill kit are these three legs that go on the bottom of your 20 pound cylinder I really do like these. It makes the cylinder very sturdy. You don't have to worry about this tipping over at all. And also you get this unit that screws into the propane tank and you have this lever here that's gonna release the propane and put it into the tank, making it really quick, really easy. All right guys, one thing I need to say before we start refilling this tank, little safety briefing, because there are a lot of Darwin award winners out there. Never ever refill propane in an enclosed area. Okay, do not refill this inside your house. Don't even do it inside your garage. Make sure you get outside, get somewhere well ventilated. Propane is very dangerous and you need a ventilated area. Secondly, I highly recommend that you wear some kind of gloves and some kind of eye protection when filling propane. This is a pretty safe method to fill propane. However, accidents do happen and you wanna be well protected in case that does occur to you. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to assemble the base on it. Really easy to put these feet on. You just tighten these screws onto the propane cylinder. All right, then after you do that, you're going to take the refill valve assembly and you're going to hand tighten that onto the propane tank. Don't use tools for this. Again, just hand tighten it on. That's all you need to do. In fact, they don't recommend you use tools. And after you do that, flip over the propane cylinder, put it on the table. All right, and then from here, we're gonna put the propane tank onto the refill valve. You line it up with these little holes there, and there's little pins that you line it up with. Put it right on there. 
And then you're going to hand tighten the tank onto the refill valve. Like so. Again, do not use tools, just hand tighten this for now. All right. Now, once you have this all assembled like this, make sure you turn on your propane. We have that all the way open. Next, you're gonna turn this counterclockwise, this little ring here counterclockwise until you hear the air coming out and all the gas is coming out. And then you're gonna press this down to put the propane into the tank. Now this should take about one minute. I'll time it with my stopwatch. Hopefully I can remember to uh, check it when we're done, but I'm gonna start it right now. And here we go. I can hear the air coming out. And we're filling the canister with propane liquid. Now we're gonna do this until liquid propane starts shooting out of the side over here. And once we have a steady stream, not just spurting out, but once there's a steady stream of propane shooting out of the side there, that's when we're gonna stop. And we're gonna turn the valve, turn this little ring back clockwise to turn it off. And then we will be done, guys. It's been about 44 seconds so far. All right, now I see a little bit of liquid propane shooting out there. You can probably see that too, or at least hear it. Now that we have a steady stream, we're gonna stop it. We're gonna turn this off. And we are done and it's just that easy guys make sure you turn your propane back off of your cylinder here undo the tank from the refill valve but there should be a little bit of propane in there right in the lines there and then we are good and this is why you wear gloves look at that i wasn't paying attention to what i was doing when i did that that would have froze my finger really badly okay always wear gloves always wear protective gear all right guys so my final thoughts on the fuel keg for mr heater i absolutely love it you can fill your tanks very quickly very easily very safely and the only thing the only real con about this whole system is the initial startup price again you're going to be out the door with one tank and the refill kit it's going to cost you about 50 dollars with tax okay but if you're somebody who fills up tanks all the time this is something i would absolutely get it is so so convenient then again if you're not somebody filling up tanks all the time say maybe you only fill up a couple every year when you go out on the ice maybe you just want to stick with the coleman tanks take a little bit extra time filling them and do it that way either way you can't go wrong I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.